Hey there, so this is going to be a continuation of an earlier video. Uh, we just finished setting up in that previous video an Ubuntu 22 desktop that we can log into using DCV, which is a remote viewer, uh, and that desktop has a GPU, which is great, uh, except we also want to be able to run GPU-enabled apps on that machine, so we're going to want to install Docker and also NVIDIA's Docker Container Toolkit so that applications in those Docker containers can also use the GPU. Right? Because if we can't do that, why are we, why are we doing any of this, right? Uh, no good to have a, a machine that we can't use for anything cool. So let's go ahead and get Docker installed as a first step. I'll just link to the Docker documentation in the, uh, the comments under the video. Uh, so as usual, we'll switch over to the Ubuntu user, go to their home directory, which now has all the desktop stuff in it, as it should, because we've installed all the Ubuntu desktop packages. You know what, I'm gonna go into documents. I think I'll save all my stuff in here. Uh, okay, and uh, first things first, we're just going to install Docker, regular old Docker, the normal way. We'll do the container toolkit stuff a little bit later uh, when we're done with our setup here. So just run apt-get update, make sure everything's up to date. Uh, we're gonna want to install uh, CA certificates and also curl. Uh, we should actually have those already, yeah, and, and we do. Um, we're then going to want to make sure we have our keyring stuff set up correctly and with the correct permissions, which we do. All right, and then I'm going to paste the next command in. And then again, this comes from the Docker docs, but this is the longer one, so I'm, I'm not going to type it by hand. We'll go ahead and download the Docker uh, keys, the signing keys for the Docker packages. Great, give those the correct permissions. That's now part of our, our key ring. And now we actually have to add the Docker official repository uh, to the apt sources so that apt get will work. So we'll do that. That's now done. Again, you can paste this all in directly from the, uh, uh, from the Docker documentation, which I will link to. Uh, and then of course we need to do apt get install and install all of the Docker stuff. And, and you should make sure you haven't already installed Docker before you do this. If you have an older version, you're gonna wanna get rid of that first. Yes, I do want to install. I didn't include that dash Y flag after the install command. So I got prompted. We'll install about 400 megabytes of uh, Docker stuff. And then once that's done, we'll run hello world and make sure it's working. Uh, after we finish the install, we do have one more issue to resolve. I don't want us to need to be root uh, in order to use Docker. So we'll go ahead and uh, make some changes to our permissions. Uh, we'll have to follow the Docker post install instructions, which I've also linked to in the description. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that as soon as Docker is done being installed. So just give it a couple more seconds here. Okay, cool, there we go. Uh, so now we can go ahead with the uh, run hello world just to make sure everything worked sudo docker run hello world all right uh ch -ch -ch -ch. it fetched it it ran the hello world container which prints out all this nice little uh message here about like completing the docker install fantastic welcome to docker all right so that worked uh now we got to follow along with the post install instructions so we're going to do sudo group add docker uh, we're going to do sudo user mod ag which is going to add our current user Ubuntu to Docker. And of course our username is actually just Ubuntu. We could type that in here, but instead I'm feeling lazy. So what I've done is I've, I've actually pulled it out of an environment variable. Um, this way this command would work for any user, no matter what your username is. Uh, new group Docker should force that to take effect immediately. And now if I do Docker run hello world, it should work. Okay, great. So we now have Docker installed and functioning the way that it is 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 supposed to. So that that's great. Um, that should do it for us. I don't. Uh, we might also want to make sure that it starts up at boot time. So let's do sudo systemctl enable docker .service. Let's Make sure that's on. Great. sudo systemctl enable. Oh, sorry. sudo sudoc. All right. sudo docker. Uh, oh, geez. Look at me. I can't type today. sudo systemctl enable containerd.service. All right, great. So now that's all ready to go. Next time we boot up, we could also do some stuff to configure logging differently, but I think that should really that should really do it for now. Um, so again, let's just double check again that that's working uh, without needing to be root. We didn't have to type sudo. 
We just directly typed Docker run hello world and it did work. So that's fantastic. That's, that's all working the way we want it to work. Uh, next thing is to try and install the NVIDIA uh, container toolkit. Um, so to do this, we're gonna first have to make sure we've got Docker installed, which we've done. Uh, and we need to add yet another repository, this time for the NVIDIA container toolkit stuff. So I'll link to that again in the uh, description, but uh, I'm gonna use this curl command to fetch the GPG key and install it and do all that great stuff. Uh, then we're gonna run sudo apt get update, uh, which should pull in those NVIDIA packages. You can see that this last line here, we just, uh, we fetched some packages from GitHub. See that last line? That's, that's the NVIDIA stuff. All right, so that should, uh, should be working. So then we'll do sudo apt get install dash y nvidia container toolkit. All right, and again, if you want to actually, you know, just have a, an environment already set up with all the drivers enabled and, you know, uh, nvidia container toolkit already installed, there are Amazon machine images that include all of that. Uh, I'm installing it manually just so you can see how it works. Okay, so we now have the NVIDIA Container Toolkit installed, right? So the next thing to do is to make sure that we're using the NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA enhanced versions of all the Docker tools. So I'm gonna run NVIDIA CTK runtime configure runtime equals Docker. Okay, uh, it made a new config file. That is great, sudo system ctl restart Docker. Okay, that happened. Um, that should do it for making sure that uh, the NVIDIA Container Toolkit is, toolkit is ready to go. That's good enough for using GPUs in individual Docker containers. We did not set up rootless mode though, so I think we are still gonna have to run commands as sudo. We'll worry about that in just a minute. Uh, one more thing we wanna do that we haven't done is actually also update the runtime for ContainerD. Uh, so let's paste that in. Uh, the reason I want to do this is so that when I run Kubernetes, my Kubernetes cluster can use the GPU. Uh, right, uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think that should take care of it. There's a bunch of other configuration stuff in the docs, like you know, setting up CRIO or NerdCTL or this other, other stuff. Uh, I don't think we need to do any of that. Um, let's just see if we can get a sample workload to run. And then uh, we'll see if we can get it to run without being root. If not, we'll go ahead and turn on rootless mode. So we'll do sudo docker run, runtime equals NVIDIA TPUs all Ubuntu NVIDIA SMI. Um, so what that should do is download a container and ask the container to run NVIDIA. It'll be an Ubuntu container and we're gonna run the SMI command uh, and if everything works, which it did, we should see this, right? The, the Docker container is able to successfully uh, communicate with the, uh, the GPU. So that, that worked. Uh, the problem is, can we do that same process but without sudo in front? I have a feeling if we try it, it's not gonna work. I can paste that in. Um, and, oh, no, actually it did work. All right, so rootless mode, I don't need to turn that on, I guess. Everything is working the way it's supposed to. All right, cool. So that's great. Uh, so we are pretty much all set up. If I had any issues or I couldn't get something to run, I would then just go back and look at the NVIDIA documentation. But we've now we've now done it. We've set up a Docker as well. So now our Ubuntu 22 desktop has a functioning GPU, the NVIDIA drivers are installed, and we can run container workloads that need access to the GPU, which is pretty sweet. So that's all working the way it's supposed to work. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.